Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Mike Rowe unleashes on liberal who shamed him for exposing major scam on every American. TV star Mike Rowe is known for being a hard-working, blue-collar American. The former star of the reality show Dirty Jobs took to Facebook Thursday to post an NPR article to Facebook on Thursday that took note of the significant number of growing vacancies in high-paying skilled labor jobs in various trade vocations. Yet high school graduates continue to go into massive amounts of debt signing up for four-year college degrees they may never use and may not be able to pay for. Naturally, the article also included commentary from Roe himself with the post as is the norm. Yet it was not well received by one woman who is apparently part of the perpetually offended club. She perceived Roe's pro-hard work mantra as some sort of attack on higher education and a public shaming of those who choose to attend university. Don Baker posted in response to Mike Roe Dash. Is it your intent to make those who choose college to feel ashamed, lazy and brainwashed? Our country's education system is under attack, and you seem to be supplying more ammunition to those attacking it, there's a reason many of these jobs pay well, they are truly hard work, physically hard. Dangerous hard. Mentally hard. Feel free to send reps to the local unemployment office and browbeat them to send people to these jobs. Whether you mean to or not, you are sending a very bad message to those who want to destroy our higher education system. Um no. Roe posted again on Friday in an attempt to rectify any possible misunderstanding of his post and the accompanying article. He stated to his followers, Yesterday, I posted an article that dared to question the universal wisdom of pushing everyone toward a four-year degree. The article reached three million people, and not everyone was pleased. Roe went on to agree with Baker regarding higher education being under attack. Sort of. Roe explained, You're right. Our country's educational system is indeed under attack. But the attack is from within, and the wounds are self-inflicted making note of recent examples of the failures of the higher education system such as the so-called cry closet at the University of Utah, and Fresno State Professor Ranga Jarar slandering Barbara Bush as a racist witch in the hours after her and bragging about her tenure. Roe then continues with Dash. Point is, Don, the hypocrisy in our educational system is rank, the bias undeniable the disrespect for our flag ubiquitous, and the entire safe space mentality the exact opposite of what life is like in the real world. Higher education has created its own PR nightmare, he wrote. Is it any wonder parents are trying to figure out if their kids should be sent into such a lopsided environment? Is it any wonder reasonable people are beginning to question the value of a four-year degree? Tuition has increased at two and a half times the rate of inflation. Nothing else this important has ever done that. Not real estate, energy, food, even healthcare. The question is why? Is the quality of education two and a half times better than it was 30 years ago? No way. Are universities turning out more graduates? Hardly. 50% of those who enrolled don't even graduate. Do people have more disposable income today than they used to? Of course not. No, universities have been able to raise their prices partly because too many parents believe that anything less than a four-year degree will doom their kid to a less productive existence and partly because we've pressured millions of kids to borrow whatever it takes from a bottomless pool of unlimited money that doesn't really exist. The result? One and a half trillion dollars of student debt, 6.3 million jobs that no one wants to do, and millions of college graduates who can't find work in their chosen fields, but lack the skill to do the kind of jobs currently available. The kind of jobs you deem, hard work. Summing up his point, Roe told Baker that his intent is not to make those who choose college feel ashamed lazy or brainwashed. My intent is to remind people that a university is not the only place to enrich your mind or prepare yourself for the real world. Nor is it necessarily the best place. It's merely the most expensive. Other options exist, including those offered through my scholarship fund. Please feel free to apply, should your position at Oregon University ever vanish. Or, should you one day conclude that work is not the enemy. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.